Hello everyone, how good of you to join and welcome to yep, another episode or another let's play of Frostpunk. Today we start with the endless mode once again. So I've already played this one a year ago and always when it's summer outside and really hot, I like to come back to something chilly and Frostpunk is just the right city builder for that. It's probably one of my favorite city builders at all times. Um, let's just go into the settings real quick before we start. We do have a couple of options here. My last endless playthrough was actually with the flats that gave us, well, a pretty big city. And this time we're going with something more traditional. We have the rifts, the hanging rock, the snow drifts, the frozen grove, um, the cracks. So yeah, that, that's something I really don't like because the city would be scattered like that. And I think we go with the hanging rock because I really think this is epic and we can make a beautiful city in, this, uh, in the center there. Setting wise, as always, we're going with the highest difficulty the game has to offer. The only thing that I'm going to put off here is the uh, random hazards, right? Because I think it's a bit too luck based. That's my opinion. Um, a couple of my episodes already failed because of that. Um, just because, you know, it's unpredictable and if something really goes bad, and it usually does, uh, the game is over and you can't save it anymore. So that's something I don't like. I don't like the balanced extreme challenge though. Um, so the highest difficulty we have. Let's get cracked. Alright, and so it starts. Exciting as always with a more or less empty map and just the generator in the center. So if you're new to Frostbank, well, basically we live in an ice age and we are a few survivors. In order to prepare for the ice age, the government, the last government, prepared the generators built across the countries and, well, around the generators we can or we should survive. Sleepy Hollow, it is going to be once again and we are going to have a very tight schedule here. It's 7 o'clock in the morning day one as we can see the first temperature drop is hitting in three days and it's going to be two levels so at the moment we have it warm with minus 20 degrees um beautifully warm right i would i would sit in the sun with a t-shirt and just enjoy my time and yeah that's basically well that's basically it and then we have it minus 40 degrees and then it's probably time to get the jacket or something like that now let's have a look around our map for now we have some two piles here the wood crates and the steel wreckage we have a wood uh, wood 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 coal wood here we have coal 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 wood over there and two coal piles and some more piles over there that i don't care for now let's get cracking with my first things that we need so the book of law we're going to assign our first law to our young settlement that is the emergency shift with the emergency shift we're going to be able to work through the night I'm going to assign some 15 engineers to the end to the steel, some 15 to the first wood crates. Over here, another wood crate. Let's make it full. Let's max it out. We have coal. Let's max. Now, let's say 10 people on the coal for now. So, coal, we have 50 coal we need for the generator that is idle in the center right now. This beautiful thing. We're not going to turn it off on right now. And probably another 10 for more wood. Let's get cracking. Um, what we also will do is we're going to build the first workshop right away. This is going to allow us to research a bit. And probably those engineers you're going to build it right actually there's 10 people on it right away i don't mind one bit we could build a second workshop right away to speed up the research but i'm not entirely sure we would like to do that we definitely will need a medical post though by the end of day one eight o'clock people are going to work now all of them i'm going to sign another five there to the steel we do need a bit of steel after all and the workshop is under construction Gosh, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? Children are playing around. All of them have their own names, stories, parents, families. And yeah, also <laughs> their risk of falling ill. For now though, those children are fine. Absolutely. Very good. The workshop is finished. I'm going to reassign now. Whoop, to do. I'm going to reassign now some five engineers to this workshop here. And we're going with the first research. It's going to be the beacon as always and we're going to put this workshop here on emergency shift so they have to work now through the next 24 hours and they're probably going to finish this in 13 hours so we can do another research by the end of day one. Very important. We need to act quickly otherwise we're not going to survive that temperature drop. Minus 20 degrees is for the most part pretty fine for most people. Mm, not 
the minus 40 though, so by then we should have shelters and everything like that. Basically, we still have to live outside, right? And who likes that at these temperatures? Now, that's on the way to Beacon. We can then have scouts, so they're researching it now. It's really warm in that workshop. Comfortable. That is all we want to know. And also, yeah, everyone's basically at work. I will probably put this wood crate here into emergency shift as well. So we need more wood. Um, and they will just basically have to work through that. Yes, I'm going to do this. Another emergency shift for the wood that we have there. Poor thoughts, but you can do this. One, Once in your lifetime, you can work through the night. Now, everyone is wait, uh, working, as we can see, which is just looking beautiful <laughs> for their own survival, for their own good. Um, no one would be building something if I'm building or something, but once the shift is over at 6 o'clock, they will start building what I order them to. We're going to wi go with the first medical post over there as well, so the first sick people will probably come in pretty soon. I need to prepare for that. And the gathering posts we can also prepare now, the first ones that we have. For the gathering posts, so it's well basically very important that we have them in the gathering post working rather than on the piles directly, right? Where they're exposed to the cold. Um, and this is drastically increasing the, the sickness rate. So I will definitely need to have our first gathering post. The first one is definitely going to be here where we have some wood, which is the important thing, and some coal, which is another very important thing. And probably, probably, let me just find something out here real quick because we need a a road to that gathering post there. And that's why I needed to have two tents there just for now so that we know how much space we can still consume. Now, the gathering post, they're going to start with that soon. Researching is going fine. We get a lot of wood in. That's what I like to see. As the first shift is over, six o'clock we get some 140 coal ready for us and they will now start the gathering post i will probably be able to have a second gathering post though 15 wood we can afford that let's just see where we might need that we have some coal here and some wood the steel we can still make this one work right there we have two steel wreckages let's have the second gathering post over there i think that's more important and also here, once again, another road down there. No roof over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We better do something about that. And I'll provide shelter. Right? So that's my first promise here. We have two days to do that. And those promises are pretty important. If we do a promise, we better keep it. Um, otherwise, people are going to be really, really pissed at us. And we need to work out on that discontent and hope rating here, right? If discontent is full, the game most likely is over. We do get one last, well, mission that we can solve in order to get it down again. And if the hope is at zero, the same thing happens. So we need to balance that. We need to juggle that. Um, it's now getting evening. It's getting late. So I'm going to put on the generator for the first time. And the heating. And there it's working, as we can see, getting some beautiful heat out there. And the snow is also melting around it. As the temperatures, at least here in the center, are fine. No sick people yet, but yet I'm going to assign five engineers now to that medical post. So we got this one now working. And when the first sick people come in, we should be fine. Also, since we have still a bit of wood, I would also like to start now with my first... Um, tents. So let's build two tents. We need to be careful though because I might... Yeah, well, I'm definitely going to have my next research tent soon. That's costing me. As we're building those gathering posts here and here. And there we have it finished. So those guys here, let's reassign them to the gathering post now for the coming days, right? If they work in gathering posts, less likely they become sick. This one's fine now too, I think we have, yep, there we have them on the coal, and I'm going to assign them to the gathering post. They can work for us. The beacon is finished. Very important that we have this one. Next up would be, yeah, the faster gathering most likely, so that we do get 15% bonus on gathering things, right? So we speed things up in that regard. The beacon needs some 35 steel. That's unfortunately something that I don't have for this day. So the beacon is something we need for the next day. The first sick are coming in. I'm probably going to build me another medical post rather soon. 
as we can see five are fitting into one of the medical posts and we also got the first five patients here and we need a second one the next law as you can see it's really quick and fast in the beginning there's a lot of things we need to consider here extended shift so now people can work longer four hours longer so six to eight o'clock i'm going to put this on and as you can see this content is rising because of that they don't like that at all mm, i should still have someone somewhere there we have them let's get on the steel we need more steel and we should be able though to build another gathering post most likely here where we have some steel and some wood please tell me i can build it somehow oh god cannot build it here are you serious <laughs> this is not there there it's possible to have all three of them hmm it's messy though and it's far away i'm not doing that yet all right, the next medical post is finished. I'm going to assign now those five engineers to the second medical post. So we have now 10 people in treatment. As the second day is dawning. And the temperature drop is coming ever closer. In our little settlement, they are still working in the wood crates. They should actually be finishing this crate here soon. The steel wreckages, they should be working on that now too. And once we have 6 o'clock, like now, I'm going to shut down the generator once again. Because we are consuming a lot of coal at the moment. Alright, oh, please, two medical posts that should be working, right? So they really take their time with healing the sick. But what can you do about it? Now we also need that 35 steel. There we have it. So I can now build the beacon for our first scouts. Uh, that's going to be tricky though. Where should we have that? Yeah, lots of people are sick here and here. That's still fine. We don't have any more workers. Let's just check the area because we have some resources. Over there we have the wall drills that I would like to have then. There we have coal. Let's have the beacon over here because I'm, I already have the street in this area. And we are going to need more street here soon. Right, so I'm going to have some more buildings in this area. This is actually pretty lucky here, this time with the wall drills both together in this little corner there. Ooh, what else could we do right now? Not a whole lot. I can only hope that we get enough people out of the sick beds. Food is another thing, right? So people haven't eaten anything yet. We will see the first hungry people soon. Heating is off. Faster gathering has been researched. This is going to help us as we get more things done more quickly. Um, and I would like to go with the heater now. Heaters, we need them ready before the next temperature drop. So I can heat my gathering posts and stuff like that. And the other thing is we also have the first hungry people now. Sick people still need some treatment. Hurry up there, please. This wooden crate is finished now nothing to gather let's just assign them to another wood crate or wood pile quickly this one here we need the wood after all and we're not getting that much all right the next day is over soon i'm going to have them work there as well a bit longer and i'm also having the next tents now for my people so we have then four tents and with that also the promise. The steel wreckage has been depleted as well. That's good. Bad is that we don't have a steel input now. Nope, we don't. So I need another gathering post then as well. Beacon has been built. Perfect. We have the wood for it. It takes 40 wood actually to get the first scouts up. And with that we have unlocked now the map of the endless playthrough which is always different right so there's nothing here that you can train we got a shelter over there and a snow covered supplies let's go for the supplies that's definitely something useful so the scouts are on the way now take one day in three hours so they're really slow mm. the next law is ready this one is crucial now what do we want to go with um, we have three very valid options in this case here so the soup is very important radical treatment and child labor we don't have any gravely ill yet so radical treatment 
doesn't seem like the route to go for me. Child labor is really good because we basically get 15 more people, but they are very prone to sickness. Um, and on the other hand, we have the soup that gives me more food. Let's go with the soup. Um, we have 80 raw food, and with the soup we get about, I think, 20% more food out of that supply. And this will last us a bit longer through the night. I'm also needing now a, uh, a cookhouse that I'm going to build. And for that cookhouse, I actually need to do some adjustment here. So a tiny mistake on my part. We're going to need this space here. And I'm going to build that road here then right away again for that gathering post. All right, people do something. Let's turn on the heater once again for this night. So they have it warm outside. I should also have the last tents now under construction. There it is, perfect. So we have then those four. I still have a space here for another workshop. And we have two medical tents now working. Yes, and we also get the first people out soon. As the cookhouse is also now being finished. As we can see, 30 hungry people now. We need that food as well. There we have it, perfect. Let's assign two workers to that. And they are going to provide some food next day. We can also say now soup. And the shelter promise has been fulfilled. That is going to help a bit with this content. We have now at least four or 40 people actually sheltered. Not much more I can do in this regard. Not much more. Let's also put the extended shift on the workshop. Gathering post is fine, both of them. We still have some resources. I might build the... I don't think I can do this. How expensive is the street? Yeah, That's too far away, unfortunately, for us. Right, so I will still have to wait there a bit. We have eight available workers, though. All right, day three is dawning. People are waking up to another glorious day of cowering in the snow. Six o'clock, the cook starts the work. The soups are being produced. And as we can see, lots of people rush for the cookhouse right away because basically we finally have some food. This is going to help out a lot in the upcoming, well, two or three days at least. Wood is important here. Wood is something that we still don't have. I might need another emergency shift. And the remaining workers, we still don't have a temperature drop. They could work on one of these wooden crates, right? So at least there is a bit of work to be done then. Oh boy. And we still have too many sick people. At least food we have plenty of now as we can see. Over 100 then. Wood, 100. Mm hmm. That's realistic then for the gathering post. The heaters are going to be finished now. There they are. Perfect. Heater coming in now. Just in time. And I guess that's it. I guess what we could do now is go with the drawing boards right away. That cost me 50 wood. And we would unlock the tier 1 tech that we have. We're still basically at tier 0. Um, this is going to make things then even more difficult to decide. I would rush. Would like to rush for the wall drill though. That is my goal for this one. And I guess we are going with the drawing boards. I don't have hunters yet, so hunter's gear is not valid. Um, for my next shifts, we're going with the radical treatment this time. So gravely ill will also be treated now. Um, very important, because I'm pretty sure we're getting some gravely ill then soon. And one more thing that we need to uh, still do is getting our first hunters ready for some nights then. Not this night though, I think, but the next one. We have plenty of food right now. We are consuming around... How much food are we consuming? 75 per day. So we can survive here two, three days with the amount of food we have at the moment. Because they can still survive more than 24 hours after their last meal. Really busy here. Uh, we got those 15 people working outside just for this day though. We need all the wood. And then I'm going to assign, or then I'm going to build another gathering post now here. This time I'm actually doing it. And this street here is not wasted though, because after all, we do have a coal deposit here. So I can use this street then for two industries. Okay, the next day is coming to an end. Hmm, should we have emergency shift for the workshop or not? I don't think so. 
what I'm going to have is I'm going to have now four more tents. So basically we start a second row of houses just over there. So everyone will have housing done. Food is fine. We basically left the generator now running because we have the cold production. And we also get some wood piles now depleted. Sickness wise, we are actually not doing so bad, right? So for now, we have only nine. We have still one more bed. Each medical post has five beds. As this day is coming to an end, and this was the last comfortable day, because then soon we're going to see a significant drop in the temperature. Very important that we finish those tents and my scouts have reached the supplies. Some raw food we find over there. Under the snow we uncovered many crates full of supplies. There's no telling who might have left them here. 19 raw food. Uh, that's not really a lot. Hmm. Uh, this is bad. Let's go back to Sleepy Hollow. Get the supplies in there and then go for the empty shelter. This one here, usually it's one with supplies or one with an event and one without anything or with anything with nothing right so the barren hollow will nothing will be nothing and the empty shelter probably has something so i rather take this all the tents are built perfect we have no more raw food so i don't need the cooks there we have lots of workers at the moment so i'm going to use some of them on this gathering post here then soon i also don't need those guys there anymore that's fine that's fine it's not looking so bad. Um, I'm going to build with the resources that we have a second workshop now. Just over here. There we have it. And the scattering post. Please finish this on time. As we also can see, this is a very nice detail. Those tents here have a lot of heating, so they are comfortable. Those here have snow on their um, roofs, so it's not that comfortable there anymore. It's livable still. This is going to change now soon as well, but it's still fine. Um, the next workshop is finished. By the way, we have 10 engineers. We should have more engineers than 10. Someone working in one of those. Very good. The gathering post is finished. We have 15 engineers, so there must be some 5 engineers somewhere that I haven't seen yet. This is all fine though. 5 here. Ah, oh, right, 15 we have, right? What I can do is, since sickness levels are not that high, I'm going to reassign 2 from each medical post to the workshop. So we can finish or we can research faster. Something that I need to do. Alright, next day is upon us minus 40 degrees now I'm going to leave the generator on and I'm also going to activate now the heaters in the gathering posts so they basically we will consume now an additional coal per hour but it's going to increase the temperature by one so it's at least chilly so not that uncomfortable we need to check the real quick how much coal are we still producing we still have a surplus so that's working for us at the moment but we need to be very, very careful how we want to handle this. I've got 15 workers at the moment not working for us, but they will soon be able to do something. Actually, uh, another mistake that I've done here now is that I have not the available jobs for everyone, right? So we still have some people now without anything. I could build the hunters, 20 wood. Let's do this, let's build the hunters. We can squeeze in the first hunters out here or out here. This is better because this is further outside. Let's build the first hunters. Probably two of them then over time. Right? So my people will have to build that now. And the next law. Once again we're going with adaption and we could now go with overcrowding. Very good because we can basically have twice the amount of people. Um, and we're actually going with overcrowding since this content is not that bad at the moment. That means basically we have not 20 beds available if I get these kind of these amount of sick people. And we will since now we have minus 40 degrees so people are less likely to fall ill as they're working there outside as well. So very low risk of falling ill this guy has. 
but the others might not be so lucky. My scouts are returning now with 19 raw food that we can then process into some soup. And the hunter's hut should be finished as well. Drawing boards, perfect, perfect. With that we can have the wall drill now. That is a booster, very good for wood production. There we have the scouts, so we get additional soap. And the scouts continue right away to the empty shelter. Right, so we might, we might find something interesting there. It's going to take them a while. Hunter hut finished, let's assign the last remaining workers to the hunter hut. So they are going to provide us now with some raw food every day, but they only work through the night. They're not working right now. Just waiting now for those two workers here to finish the raw food that we still have. Uh, we are really not getting a lot of wood in right now. I don't like that. <laughs> Alright, remaining raw food is finished. Let's assign those two workers there as well to the hunter's hut. 15 we have now. 15 are going to work through that night. This content is low. I'm also going to have this workshop here working overtime. So they are going to work through the night once again. They will just have to do that. Okay, we don't have a lot of patience at the moment. I can actually reassign those three engineers, one to researching. And <laughs> yeah, actually the other one. The other two can stay in the in the in the uh, the, the medical post. Alright. Day four is coming to an end. And day five is soon upon us then looks very promising so far we have a bit of coal there as well but one problem that's appearing now is that the crates are running out so we are starting out to run out of crates we still have a bit of coal over there yeah this wooden crate is over soon and there we still have some 83 more wood but that's it then so we are running out of wood it's very cold minus 40 degrees and we lost the first one the first death because of overwork we must make sacrifices though that what i say this content is continuing to increase and i will just compensate that by assigning one from the medical post to the workshop so they can con still uh, continue here four hours for the wall uh, for the wall drill and then most likely the hunter's gear since we have the hunters now working for us And another gloomy night. Since it's very cold, I'm going to activate the overdrive. The generator is now working over drive. That means that it's reaching critical levels, stress levels, to increase more or to increase the heat levels that we have. So it's livable for some of those people and very warm here in the center. But at the problem that the stress is going up now. If this reaches 100%, the game is over basically. So we should not do that. I'm doing this right now because we have the minus 40. And at least in the workshop, it's really warm then as well. And people like that. Not looking so bad, but we're still at the very early stages here of our survival. Stay tuned. 